Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the MS Teams underscore auto starter.exe error that you are receiving in Microsoft Teams. The full error message reads that the parameter is incorrect. So this can be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All you have to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select apps on the left panel. And then on the right side, underneath apps, select installed apps. And then in the search apps field, go ahead and just type in Teams. Best results are going back on Microsoft Teams, so either the personal or just a regular version here. If you have something that looks like it has actual in megabytes instead of kilobytes, you want to select the megabyte version because megabytes are bigger than kilobytes. There's 1,024 kilobytes in a megabyte, and just logically, this would make more sense as being the actual program. Microsoft does include a trialware software on their operating system, so this could just be a trial version of Teams while well, this is the full version of it right down here. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it and then select advanced options. Scroll down underneath reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then if you're still having a problem after that, you can select the second option to, if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. Give that a moment. Once that's done, close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match to come back with Command Prompt. Right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. Select Yes. And now you want to type in SFC, space, forward, slash, scan now. Scan now shall be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that's done, you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.